What's going on guys? Welcome back to today's video. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So, <coughs> um, right, we're going to be talking about the potential of hurricane again for Florida. Here it is, and this is it. If you're wondering from my last video, yes, this has changed. It's because yesterday it had a track like this and then going like that right through Florida and then right like this and then out to sea. Okay, this is today. So wait, today's. I'm just trying to. F okay. Today's model, though, has it like this. It's like making weird turns and stuff. And then going right, like this way, kind of. And then going that way. So, yeah, there is differences from today and yesterday. So, yeah. And I had a question um, yesterday, like, what do high pressure do for a storm? Like, if there's a high pressure, like, if there's a small, it depends on the high pressure. There's a high pressure, I know I should be using blue right now, but there's a high pressure right here. If a hurricane is going to go like this way, it can't because the high pressure will just block it and prevent it from going that way. Um, so, the high pressure is like this. Um, and it also depends on how big the high pressure system is. If it's just a little guy, then it won't really do too much. But if it's a big high pressure like this... It could potentially go and just like the high pressure will just block it from going out to sea. It could potentially just go like this or something. But if there's a high pressure over Florida, which there's not going to be because they're going to be getting a ton of rain in the coming days, if there's a high pressure over Florida, it can't go that way. That's no. It'll end up going either this way out to sea. Or it would go up the coast and then just go out to sea. So, yeah, that's what high pressures do. They just guide them for where they go. Like, if there was a huge high pressure system, whoops, not that way, not there. If there's a huge high pressure system, which this was what it could have looked like yesterday. Um, if there's a high pressure system over here, this storm can't go and go that way. It can't go that way. It would either have to go up the coast, like that, or it could go like that, which is looking like what it could do, but this is without high pressure, or it could just go out to sea that way. So there's, that's what high pressure systems do, but now let's talk about the system, and I couldn't really find, if you guys know any um, European model websites I can do, um, please tell me because this is all I could find. It's windy.com, and this really doesn't have, it's a good website if you're looking for like rainfall accumulation in the next 10 days, which it looks like a lot of rain is coming to Florida. Uh, how much rain are we talking about? Just click randomly. Um... Five inches or so in there. It's a lot of rain. Um, let's try Miami. How much can Miami get? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is the only one I could really find, but it's really not that good. Um, so, yeah. If you know any mo um, mo European models forecast... Please tell me, and the only one I could get, um, the only one I could get here is, like, temperatures, and that's not what I really want. So we're gonna go and go to, and zoom into the Florida area. Oh, no, not that one. Oops, sorry, wrong one. I don't want the whole eastern, I just want the southeast. Oops. The south. And we'll just wait. Okay, you know what, that's actually, we'll just try to get it now. Here, good. Southeast area. Okay, so, this is the storm. This is the low pressure system right here. 
so you could tell because these ISO bars are very tightly packed. That means very strong winds. So, yeah. Um, what I want to do is just go here. And that's like, yeah. So, um, this is what it is, and these are the rainfall. I'm pretty sure this is an inch. I, I don't even know. But, yeah. It's like the rainfall for it. I'm just gonna go back. See how powerful it was. Like, I'm pretty sure this inches. I can't really tell. But, I don't want to say here, but. Oh, millimeters. Millimeters. This is in millimeters. So. So yeah, it doesn't really do it in inches, so that kind of sucks, but if we look here, yesterday it was showing earlier, it was showing probably a week earlier, or a few days earlier, now it's showing the 27th, and if we go to, I'm just going to go here to this one, yesterday's forecast, and see what time it had the storm. Yeah, it had the storm over Florida on the twenty the twenty fourth. So yeah, they keep they have been moving these storms. They have been moving the storm back farther. I'm waiting still. There we go. So yeah, they've been moving the storm like back f farther. So and now I'm just gonna get this back open. We're still on this one, too. Oh, wait, no. We're on the right one. Nope, we're good. Okay. But, yeah. Now we're going to check out Florida's rainfall forecast for the next, like, two weeks. So this is now. Right here. This is the date. Today's date. And we'll go here. Total accumulated precip. And, and we'll just play this out. Because Florida's going to be getting drenched with rain, tropical downpours and stuff. So yeah, the, the south is going to get some much needed rain. Here is this in inches. Yep, this is in inches over here. And then you see we start getting into the crazy colors. And yeah, these areas are going to get a soaking of rain over a period of time, though. That's the good thing. Then, yeah, we're in the last... Oops, dang it. We're going to go back all the way here. And by the time the tropical storm's out here, these areas are getting at least two feet of rain in this area right here. In that little small area. And then on Florida, though, they'll be getting this... This is the area that's, oh, yeah, dang it. This is the area we gotta watch for potential flooding. But the best part is about the rain is they need it, and it's not coming all at once. So this area is gonna see anywhere from around six, six inches right here. That one, oh, that's a bad one. This color, dang it, I had to risk that one. Terrible. Um, the area that I'm highlighting right now. That area can see anywhere from six inches, prob possibly up to maybe. Here's the area, probably about that area could see maybe twenty inches right in this little area. Potentially. 20 inches of rain. That's a lot of rain. But the good thing is, they're going to get rid of the drought in here, in most areas in Florida. <laughs> they're not going to have a drought anymore, because you can see all of Florida, except for th that little area in the blue, most of Florida gets anywhere. Like, this is just for average of Florida. Most places are going to be getting anywhere from one to six inches of rain so yeah these areas being the least areas to get rain um 
this part right here will be getting the least amount of rain. And then this area will get the most. So, yeah, and then it just keeps getting bigger. And you can see there's like these blotches and stuff. There's like a little blotch right here. So, yeah. What the heck is going on? I don't know what's going on. 